Polypane is a tool with a lot of options. So to help you get started, we have this seven item checklist you can walk through to get used to some of the features in Polypane. Paints are obviously a big part of Polypane. So let's see how they work. Let's start with adding a pane. The easiest way to add a pane is to double click anywhere between panes. But you can also press Command N or Control N on Windows and Linux. You can use the file menu and press new pane. Or you can right click between panes and select add a pane here. So that's what we'll do. Now, as we add a new pane, we automatically focus the title. So you can type in a new name or use the arrow keys to select any of the presets Polypane comes with. So let's add an iPhone 12 mini. On to resizing panes. Now there's many different ways to resize a pane. You can drag them horizontally, vertically, or both. You can change the value above a pane just by typing. You can click the pane title and select a different preset. And you can even press Shift Command N to resize each pane randomly. For now, let's just resize this one uh, vertically. Lastly, to remove a pane, what you need to do is hover over the title, at which point the remove pane button becomes visible. You click it and the pane gets removed. As you work on your website, you want to inspect elements quite frequently, so Polypane makes this really easy to do. The easiest way to inspect is simply by holding the option or the Alt key. When you do that, the element under the cursor automatically gets highlighted and we show some information on the element in a tooltip. We do this for each pane so it's synced and you can easily compare the different values between panes. Now there's other ways to turn on inspect element mode as well. Of course you can always right click on an element to select inspect element. You can press Shift Command C to turn on the element inspection mode where you don't have to hold Option or Alt. And you can also click the button in the header here. Now, as you inspect an element, as soon as you click on it, the elements panel opens. And from the elements panel, you can edit any style, attributes or data of an element in all the panes at the same time. For more on the Element Inspector, check out the video linked in the description. One thing that sets Polypane apart is that it's a browser that actually inspects your CSS as you work on it. And because we inspect it, we also know all the CSS media queries you use and the breakpoints that that generates for your website. We can use these breakpoints to create panes specifically targeting the CSS you've written. To do that, you can press Command B. You can click the breakpoints icon in the header. Or you can also right click this button to get an overview of the breakpoints and add them one by one. For now, we'll just replace all the panes we have with the ones from your breakpoints. In Polypane, we have over 25 different debug tools you can use on that pane. To inspect them or to see them, click on the debug tools icon above a pane. Here you get a list of all the debug tools and simulators. And if you need any more information on them, you can just hover over the info button. Let's start with a simple one. Let's just turn on layout debugging. Layout debugging draws outlines around each element so you can see if they're positioned where you think they are. There's many different debug tools in Polypane, so check out the documentation for info on all of them. 
To turn a debug tool off, click the close button. Lastly, let's bring our attention to the panel where you can find a lot of cool features. Let's switch over to the meta panel. So the meta panel shows you all the information that's in the head of your web page, like the title, the description, the doc type, the fav icon. And it shows you in this uh, handy overview. So you can see if anything's missing or if any of the uh, information is not like you expect it to be. Now we take this information and we use it to generate pixel perfect social media previews for Twitter, Facebook, Slack, LinkedIn, and a bunch more. Now we have these available in dark and light mode. Another cool panel is the outline panel where we show you information on your headings, images, landmarks, and links. If there's any issue we find, we give you a small warning and also explain what you should do to improve, for example, the heading structure. And for the links, we check each of them to see if they're valid or if they're returning a 404. That's the getting started checklist in Polypane. There's much more to discover, so check out some of the other videos linked in the description or start a trial and explore for yourself. You can start a trial at polypane.app.